Dear students, in the last module, we studied about some of the hallucinogens like cannabis, LSD and psilocybin. After studying this module, you will be able to know about the significance of naturally occurring drugs, brief outline of some important natural drugs and the various sources of drugs occurring naturally. For thousands of years, natural products have played a very significant role in health care and prevention of diseases. The prehistoric civilizations of the Indians, Chinese and North Africans provide inscribed evidence for the use of natural sources for curing many diseases. The earliest recognized printed document is a 4000 year old Sumerian clay tablet that accounts therapies for several illnesses. Conventional natural product chemistry approaches facilitated a vast selection of bioactive secondary metabolites from terrestrial and marine sources to be discovered. Natural products have been the most effective source of potential drug leads. Natural products once assisted humanity as the source of all drugs and higher plants provided most of these therapeutic agents. However, it was not until the 19th century that scientists isolated active components from various medicinal plants. Friedrich Stirner isolated morphine from papaver somniferum in 1806 and since then natural products have been widely selected for their medicinal purposes. Atropin obtained from Atropa belladona, strychnine, a central nervous system stimulant, ziconodide identified from a cone snail, conus magnus and texol are a few examples of active components taken out from natural sources. Drug detection from the usual sources mostly involves two methodologies. Principle one is chemically determined, which is discovery natural activities from disinfected complexes and second is the biologically driven in which bioassay guided approach starts with crude extracts or it can be combination of the both. Natural product chemistry is one of the oldest branches of the chemical sciences. Its origin dating back to the first decades of the 19th century or even before. Natural products act as lead molecules for the synthesis of various potent drugs. Natural products entities depend not only on plants but also on other form of life like algae, fungus, sponges, mollusks, etc. Microorganisms have been widely screened for antibiotics like Fleming's discovery of the antibacterial activity of penicillin. Next is sources of natural drugs. First, animal sources. Epibetadine, obtained from the skin of an Ecuadorian poison frog, is 10 times more powerful than morphine. Venomous and toxins from animals have played a substantial role in the production of medical drug synthesis. Venoms of snakes are recovered to produce several anti-cancer drugs. Next are plant sources. Plants have been well documented for their medicinal uses for thousands of years. They have evolved and adapted over millions of years to withstand bacteria, insects, fungi and weather to produce unique structurally diverse secondary metabolites. Their ethnopharmacological properties have been used as a major source of medicines for early drug discovery. The use of plants as medicines has a long history in the treatment of various diseases. These still are an important part of traditional medicine and herbal remedies. Next is marine sources. Marine natural products with their distinctive structural features and prominent biological activities continue to produce lead structures 
in the exploration for new drugs from nature. Invertebrates such as sponges, tunicates, shellless mollusks and others that are either sessile or slow moving and mostly lack morphological defense structures have so far provided the leading number of marine derived secondary constituents as well as some of the most interesting drugs. Spongerudine and spongothymidine were the first active compounds that were isolated from the Caribbean sponge Cryptothica crypta in the 1950s. These compounds are nucleotides and display great potential as anti-cancer and antiviral agents. Their discovery directed to a wide-ranging research to recognize new drug resources from marine environment. Oceans cover approximately 70% of the surface of the earth, providing major biodiversity for the study of drug sources. Next are microbial sources. Penicillin was discovered in the year 1929 and till then microorganisms as a source of potential drug resources were not discovered. Since then, a large number of terrestrial and marine microorganisms have been screened for drug discovery. Microbes have a comprehensive diversity of possibly active constituents. In the same way, macro and microfungi have been part of human life for thousands of years. At present, with the advances in microbiology, their uses have stretched to enzymes, biological control, antibiotics and other pharmacologically active products. Certainly one of the most prominent natural product discoveries derived from a fungus, which is a microorganism, is that of penicillin from the fungus Penicillium notatum discovered by Alexander Fleming in 1929. Some notable naturally occurring drugs, opium. Opium refers to the dried extract of the poppy plant, that is Pepever somniferum, which belongs to the family Pepeveraceae. In Greek, opium is the name for juice. The opium poppy originated in the eastern Mediterranean and its use has been well documented by ancient civilizations. In particular, many famous Greeks espoused opium's therapeutic properties to elevated mood and work as a general tonic. Opium, when fresh, is plastic and internally moist. Coarsely granular or smooth, it is reddish brown to dark brown. Hard and brittle. Poached ka doda contains 0.1 to 0.3 percent morphine. The morphine content of the opium varies from 9 to 14 percent but when the morphine content is 10 percent it is known as standard opium. The leaves are oblong, irregularly toothed and slightly sinuate or lobed. Flowers are large and may be bluish white, purple or white in color. Each plant bears 5 to 8 capsules which are incised in their unripe state to extract a milky fluid that on drying yields opium. Second is coca leaves. Cocaine, coke or snow is a natural alkaloid present in the leaves of coca plant that is erythro xylon coca, a shrub that grows well in South America, Mexico, Indonesia and West Indies. Cocaine is usually abused by either chewing coca leaves smoking coca paste or snorting cocaine hydrochloride. It furthermore serves as a universal and effective household remedy for a wide range of medical complaints. Normally, coca plant has the excellent property to fight physical fatigue and also it stimulates respiratory and cardiac functions in a suitable manner. For this reason, many Indians use it as an aid to physical work. Traditionally, coca also plays a crucial symbolic and religious role in Indian society. 
the unifying and calming effects of coca chewing on Indian culture compares markedly with the disrupting and intricate phenomena of cocaine use in Western societies. Coca leaves are also ordinarily applied to sores in the mouth because they are supposed to help curing of oral lesions. These leaves are also useful in relieving toothache and act as prophylactic which keeps teeth white and decay resistant. As a fast acting antidepressant, coca has certain mood elevating properties specifically when set and setting are supportive. Next is ephedrine. Ephedra is the common name for any one of the three species grown medicinally in China and recognized in the Chinese Materia Medica. Ephedra sinica, Ephedra equisenitana and Ephedra intermedia. Ephedrine is small twiggy shrub and its branches have been employed in the practice of many traditional Chinese medicinal preparations to treat fevers colds, wheezing and as a diaphoretic and diuretic. Plant species related to that of ephedrine have been used in Tibetan and Indian medications. Ephedra contains alkaloids including ephedrine, pseudoephedrine, norephedrine, methyl ephedrine and nor pseudoephedrine which is also called cathine. Ephedrine accounts for the majority of the alkaloids. Ephedra causes dose dependent increases in blood pressure and heart rate. Ephedrine, the predominant active compound, is a non catecholic symptomimetic agent, though this species is also employed in therapies for intraoperative hypotension and bradycardia. Its unsubstantiated use raises certain concern. Next is psilocybin. The extraction of psilocybin is done from the mushroom psilocybe mexicana or other mushroom species. The hallucinogenic substances psilocin and its phosphate ester psilocybin occur in a number of fungi, particularly those of the genus psilocybe. These are small brown gray mushrooms that grow wild over large areas. Although they are commonly cultivated under controlled conditions for abuse purposes. Psilocybin are also known by certain names like psychedelic mushrooms, magic mushrooms and shrooms because they are sold in the mushroom itself. Aspirin. It is the easily available salicylate analgesic. It is an alteration of the salicylic acid present in the willow bark. White willow bark have been used all over the world as an antipyretic and analgesic. Willow's lively chemical component salicin was recognized in 1829 by the French pharmacist Lerox. Salicylic acid was named in an adulterated state by an Italian chemist in 1838. Salicylic acid was also taken out from wintergreen, spirea and other plants. Salicin and salicylic acid were commonly used by 19th century European physicians to treat rheumatic fever and as an antipyretic gout remedy and analgesic particularly for joint pains. Next is penicillin. One of the most commonly used antimicrobial agents is penicillin. Natural penicillin is made from penicillin which is a mold that secretes materials that interfere with the synthesis of the cell walls of bacteria causing lysis or devastation of the cell membrane and destroys the invading microorganism. Penicillin is an assembly of antibiotics and was revealed by Scottish scientist Alexander Fleming in 1928. One is the role of penicillins and other antibiotics in the evolution of antibiotic resistant bacterial strains. Another is their capacity to induce allergic reactions in some patients. Penicillin 
and its relatives are responsible for most of the recorded allergic reactions to drugs. Next is Atropa. The plant Atropa belladonna is a perennial herb belonging to the family Solanaceae. The intoxication is caused by the alkaloids atropin, scopolamine and hyoscinamine which are present in the berries, leaves and roots. The anticholinergic effects produced by the atropa belladonna alkaloids cause delirium, hallucination, tachycardia, midriasis, dilated pupils, dry mouth, flushed skin, blurred vision, urinary retention, vomiting and any hydrosis. Atropa belladonna was therapeutically used to treat Parkinson's diseases because of its naturally occurring alkaloids. Atropin and scopolamine. Atropin is also effective in treating certain cardiovascular conditions like bradycardia, though low doses of atropin have shown to cause bradycardia. Next is strychnine. Strychnine is a white, odorless, bitter crystal-like ash which can be taken through mouth, breathed in or put into a solution and taken intravenously. Strychnine is an elementary alkaloid acquired chiefly from the seeds of Strychnus nuxvamica tree. It was made known to in Europe in the 16th century as a rodent toxin. Later, it was accepted as a circulatory and respiratory stimulating and was previously used as a common constituent of energizers, aphrodisiacs and other medicinal preparations. At present, strychnine comprising medicines are not used nowadays, though strychnine is now also used in veterinary medicines in rodenticides and avicides. Plants became the basis of traditional medicine system throughout the world for thousands of years and continue to provide mankind with new remedies. Natural products once assisted humanity as the source of all drugs and higher plants provided most of these therapeutic agents. However, it was not until the 19th century that scientists isolated active components from various medicinal plants. Certainly, one of the most prominent natural product discoveries derived from a fungus microorganism is that of penicillin from the fungus Penicillium notatum discovered by Alexander Fleming in 1929. Microorganisms as a source of potential drug resources were not explored until the discovery of penicillin in 1929. Since then, a large number of terrestrial and marine microorganisms have been screened for drug discovery. Respirin, isolated from the dried roots of Rauwolfia serpentina, known as Sarpgandha, has been used for centuries in India for the treatment of insanity, fever and snake bites and also it was utilized as anti-psychotic and anti-hyperactive drug to control high blood pressure. Natural products entities depend not only on plants but also on the form of life like algae, fungus, sponges, mollusk, etc. Microorganisms have been extensively screened for antibiotics since Fleming's discovery of the antibacterial activity of Penicillium chrysogenum. Several marine derived compounds have generated considerable interest scientifically and commercially and from public and health point of view.